Good morning, beloved, and happy Saturday. A busy Saturday here in Fredericksburg because it's Food Distribution Day. And uh, the Austin Food Bank coming out here once a month is here today. Can anything good come out of Austin? Oh yeah, <laughs> food. <laughs> and uh, we'll be handing out these boxes of food pre-packaged. That's why we have to wear our get up. I've got face masks and gloves I'm about to put on and the cars will drive by. We'll put these boxes in their trunks uh, for and in their cars to take home because our bodies need food, but we also need the Word of God. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And just like food gives our bodies strength and nourishment and health, so God's Word does for our mind and our soul, our spirit. We are strengthened by the Word of God. And so today, I know that you'll spend time not only sitting down to eat a healthy meal, but that you'll also spend time in God's Word, feasting upon God's Word. You know, in the fourth chapter of John, Jesus sent his disciples in to buy some food in Samaria outside the town of Sychar and he was waiting at the at the Jacob's well and the woman came from Sychar to draw water and he had a conversation with her and revealed that he was the Messiah and she ran into town to tell everyone that she had found the Christ well as his disciples were coming with food the whole town was coming with the woman to, to meet Jesus and Jesus saw the will of God being carried out as he sh shared his, he, as he revealed his identity to her, she told others and, were, and everyone was coming. And his disciples saw that he had a full look on his face. And so they asked him, said, who brought you something to eat? Jesus looked like he had just finished a big meal, but he was feasting on the fulfillment of the promise of God that through one many would come to him through the witness of the woman others would come to a saving knowledge of, of, of Christ and so Jesus told his disciples I have food to eat that you know not of and the food of God is to do his will the strength that we find in God's Word will last longer, make you healthier, and fuller than any meal that you may have. We need food, we'll be handing it out, but we even need more than that, we need the Word of God. So feast on the Word of God today. Amen. And let's pray. Father, how grateful we are for a brand new day and for the Austin Food Bank and volunteers and people to receive that food and we pray Lord that that food would multiply in strength and help and blessing and relationships as people take it home and may your word also God strengthen us with love and joy and peace in our relationship with you Lord Jesus with the Father the Holy Spirit and with our families and friends in our communities Lord, we pray against this virus, but we're grateful that in the midst of it, the very best is surfacing in communities all over the world. Protect people who are on the front lines today, God. Fulfill your purpose for this virus by bringing about revival that will outlast it. Is our prayer in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen and hallelujah.